Hello ladies and gents, I am Nadiffin and welcome back to Particle Fleet Emergence, a Creeper World Chronicle. Let us begin on episode 5, Evidence. Entering the redacted space. Don't think I'm already in there, but whatever. Destroy all enemy structures. Tycon Corporation at last finds some evidence it has sought, but what, what will they survive to act on it? Or will they survive to act on it, I mean. Evasive action! This system is filled with hostile emitters! I have checked two particular emitters very different from the others. Wait, scanning. I believe those particular are no threat. The scans match a prediction made by a simulation, Anna. Thoth is correct. If my simulation is correct, these particulate are benign and won't damage our ships. They will also annihilate other particulate upon contact. And how can this be? I only know it is possible, not how to make them or why they are here. It was purely theoretical until now, but they are here. Whoever hit was here before this must have created these benign emitters using technology unknown to us. With such technology, could they have survived indefinitely in redacted space? There's ample wreckage here, crew. Collect all of it and perhaps we will learn more. So what we got? Hmm, another Omni there, another cruiser. Another little ship, I guess. Not very good ships locations to start with. This is definitely going to be a bit of a slog. Corp HQ, build. Let us begin. Definitely get these, the cruiser and the Joven built. Build the Omnis straight away. We can get those built. This is incredible! There's a field minute maturation module in the ship that appears to be specifically designed to push benign particulate. How could this be in the Galcorp database? The answer is obvious, Dr. Kami. As we might choose to believe otherwise, the Galactic Corporation knows a great deal about the particulate and redacted space. In any case, this will make a powerful addition to our arsenal. I'll move this grabber ship in range of benign particulate and fire a stream of them directly at the enemy emitters. But first though, I want another destroyer. I need some more just basic ships at the moment. Let's grab these energy caches. So shoot down some of these. Good. Another Omni has been added to our license database. At this rate, we'll soon have quite the force. If only could use for purposes other than miring and lathing. I'll have to think on that. A quick defend the destroyer. It's not built yet. Another cruiser has been added to our database. Excellent. Wow, Cam, wow, our fleet is becoming quite impressive. I know. Unfortunately, it's probably also getting to the point where I can't actually deploy it all. This is getting very, very expensive in upkeep. Okay, where, where do we go from here? So they're sending... So this is fairly random. They're sending streams at this location. They're creating a wall. Just, ah, so I can send it in a line exactly where I want. I'm going to send it that way. Totally corrupt. All data has been lost to the ages. I'll scan the physical structure. Chief Tycon, Anna, I don't believe that the isotopic analysis matches the signatures I have been looking for. I see it, Cammy. There is a high probability this cache was even made on or at some point to the origin world. Crew, we have our first solid piece of evidence. The origin world must be real. I ask all of you to trust me when you agree to come with me on this journey. This is our first solid indication that our journey may yet yield great return. If the origin world exists deep in redacted space surrounded by ever increasing particulate, and if that particulate has destroyed ships with technology greater than ours, I fear we may not live to see our mission completion. 
We all know the risks. Perhaps charging forward with all our might will be one advantage we have. Maybe so. Or you're just completely crazy. That is the other alternative. Build some more lathe chips, I think. So I'm going to push forward at this emitter, I think. So you move forward there. Excellent. So that is pushing all of it forwards towards that area. Got another grabber, it seems. That one will push towards that emitter. That seems to be working nicely. Push all, push forwards. All the might. There we go. Another grabber ship. Ogun, this should allow angled attacks. <coughs> Now, angled attacks with the benign particle extremes. Cool. Can consider weapon controls slide career. Could always use the help. Nice. So you can actually direct them in one direction and then in another. Cool. What I'm going to do though, I'm just going to join both together into a single stream. Where to now? Probably just push forward to try and grab this location since it's not been grabbed by the particulate fleet yet. Same with this one. So grab. These ones always group together nicely. And destroy losing modules there it seems. And the big push by the partic by the antiparticulate. Think we can long strands. There's random globules and this is a random wall thing which that's it seems quite happy at destroying okay, let's just turn this round face it at that instead so in the HQ at this zone yeah it's working well Uh, let's build another Omni over here, I think. Oh, I can't build it on there due to the fact that it's all red. Oh, darn it, lost thing again. Retreat. Should probably not be sending my HQ out into such violent circumstances. Everything's now low on power. HQ back online. Power back up. Okay, I lost the destroyer. Retreat, retreat. Considerably tougher than I was anticipating. Destroyer lost again. Okay, retreat back. 
particular has a, has a chance to re regroup. Hey, these destroyers all over the place. Let's try again. Retreat back again. Hmm, losing all... Losing everything. Okay, destroy and move in. that's causing it's like bonding together to create huge networks good that one though is defeated it means it can now push forwards to another locale I do this one because these are scattered all over the place and being really quite irritating Fine little movement that way. So this wasn't really doing any, any danger to us. Move that one over there. Move there. Move all forwards. Deconstruct that quickly, like so. Good. Now low on energy, and all back online. Good. It's doing tiny little mounts there. Good, come round like so. Should we destroy that that node readily? Okay, so that's those defeated then. Put an Omni down there. The other Omnis I can't, I can't really place down at the moment since there's nowhere to lathe. Let's break through this location. break through down here. Just speed it up a little bit. Because it does seem that you see is working. Wait, anti particular I guess. Good move all all in. Quickly, you just annihilate that. May use up all the power, but very, very rapidly we gain it. Can move everything in to close combat range. Very rapidly deal with it all. Again, same here. 
quickly move up. Move in, move in, move in. Probably going to lose that thing. Yeah, losing it, losing it. Ooh. I just about got it. We have obtained our first evidence of the origin world, but something else is also very clear. Yes, I'm aware the particulate isn't some kind of accident that was destroyed by the precursors. It is too structured, too reactive. It was made for a purpose. Everything our history tells us about the precursors and how their civilization was lost must all be a fabrication. The Galactic Corporation has been keeping its a secret for centuries, millennia. Even the Great House of Abraxas kept the secret. I always held them in high regard. Perhaps the truth is too terrible even for them to reveal. Or perhaps after centuries of keeping the secret, they were going to finally reveal it, and that is why they were overthrown. Interesting theory. You sound like one of those conspiracy nuts, Amic Amicus. In any case, House of Abraxas is dead and gone. Nothing remains other than the stories we hear when we <clears throat> heard when we were children. Perhaps so, or perhaps we might find some remnant of their great house here in redacted space. You always wear the history buff, Amicus. I hope we find some trinkets for your collection. Victory! Excellent! I'm absolutely terrible time. Sweet! Excellent, so that was... Mission 5, Evidence, completed. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of Particle Fleet Emergence with myself, Anna Diffin. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and or comment, as it is always great to hear from you lot. Otherwise, that's it from me for now, and I shall see you next time. But, until then, I'm out. Goodbye!